away. Australia are the champions. Australia for the first time since 2009 will win Rugby World Cup Sevens. A glittering season ends in gold. Jubilation for two of the great champions of the game and the young rising stars. First round match in the Women's World Cup competition, Australia against Madagascar and Australia will send it down in this bright, perfect conditions for Sevens Rugby. Again, with the headgear, will tap and go, and Australia look to press a minute and a half into the match, and that pass doesn't connect either. So a little bit scrappy from Australia early, but then we see just a 360 of beauty from Faith Nathan as she does go in in the corner. And a penalty will go Australia's way. Kaslick gets on with things, tap and go from Australia on the end of the chain this time is Levi and the bounce is good for the rookie of the year. It was never going to take Maddie Levi to get on the score sheet and she gets Australia's second. <laughs> Ruck time so far. Williams across the line for Kaslick who's going to come back towards the traffic. She can find a hole wherever. Ball is flat from Levi to Ashby. Nicely back in field again for Soraya Pucky. Big defence as the crowd groans and Pucky a little uncomfortable. Play on for Australia and the try will be given for Alicia Lefalfakosalia for Australia's third. Playing advantage, mile forward, they'll get a penalty anyway. Australia stopping the tempo a little bit, charging in for another falling over the left side. This line is Faith Nathan to get her second. Able to regroup and it is Australia leading at half time 26 points to nil. Ashby taps and goes quickly and again Faith Nathan able to fall over the line. What a way to bring up a hat trick. Nathan scores straight after the break. Able to squeeze that ball back under pressure from Australia and now some space up the middle and there's nobody in front of the Madagascans. It's Russell Wadakena chasing company Australians. Madagascar are they going to get on the board for a famous try? Have a look here. What a tackle by Levi in the try zone. The heart shown by that woman to sprint back. Thank you. Williams. Advantage, green offside. Madagascar have got themselves up offside again. Here's Dom Detoy into the action. One of the more experienced Aussie players slips off one, slips off a second, and that then the good. offload's good for Williams. She bumps off bodies as well. Australia steaming upfield. Shani Williams will go herself. Australia end to end, and Shani Williams with the finish. And they've given a great account of themselves too. Just over a minute to play in Australia. A worker move from the scrum. It's nicely done from Kaslick to Nathan on the outside. She's looking for four. And she is going to get it. Faith Nathan to etch her name in a bit of Aussie rugby history. Third player to score four tries in a World Cup. Just Dennis. as I say it. Over. Australia. Look to turn them around once more. Oh, and she's on for five here with a wonderful bit of foot and body work. Faith Nathan gets a fifth to finish it off for Australia. First player ever to score five tries for Australia is Faith Nathan. That woman is electric. We've seen her on the series. Playing the world's best, gave a great account of themselves. It is Australia, though, 48 points to nil. Quarter finalists with a beaming smile. Look at England. They know they've got nothing to lose. They're playing the favourites. Lap it up, England. Look at them charging out to take on Australia. <laughs> Isla Norman Bell for England will send this restart away, and it is not quite going to go 10 metres, and it's plucked straight away by Soraya Pucky, who gets the inside ball away. Two Faith Nathan. Kaslick. The master size the gap. They held off her. And Kaslick takes the opportunity to get the first score in the quarterfinals. <laughs> Advantage being played again for Australia. Look at Kaslick just wanting to get on with things and throws the ball to Nathan in space. And Faith Nathan will streak in for Australia. And your ring come together, hit off the ball, and now some power from Australia and Alicia Lefalfakosalia. 
Ashby. Maddie Ashby goes herself. She had Levi on the outside in the English defence at sixes and sevens. Madison Ashby scores. 21 points to nil. Australia lead England in the quarterfinal. I haven't seen a lot of Maddie Levi on attack. There's a bit going on over the sideline, but there's a lot of space and the numbers here for Australia. And away she goes again. Faith Nathan, lightning fast, buries the head, and that could be the one that buries England. They do, Crompton. Nathan, foot race, Crompton can't get outside. Faith Nathan, she's class on attack and defence. She is there making tackles. Incredible. Inaugural winners of the Women's Rugby World Cup 7s back in 2009, but none of these players tasted that. And away they go again, just slicing them open. And this time it's Tegan Levi, the younger sister, into the action for Australia to seal the deal in a semi-final place. The Rugby World Cup 7s, Australia marches on, impressive and emphatic, 35 points to five. Australia and the USA. So this is going to be the one to complete it for them. Won the Commonwealth Games, they've won the World Series. Gosh, what it would mean to them to win the World Cup. Off the boot of oh, Elena Olsen. We'll look for those big, tall targets that she has. It's Kaslik, though, who brings it down for Australia. And, oh, the rarest of errors. They've made about two mistakes all tournament. Ashby. Ashby just ghosting across the field, looking to get Kaslik involved. Manipulating space again as Charlotte Kaslik scores first in the semi-final. <laughs> USA hanging tough, but it is Australia who has their noses in front, seven points to nil at halftime. Australia have applied a lot of pressure and they're going to execute straight off the base of that scrum. Charlotte Kaslik, magic. That's just a classy defence there from Australia. The whole bend, but you don't break. 12 points to seven, one minute to play in the semi final. It's Australia leading the United States. Who will play New Zealand in the decider? Oh, Levi's attacked us in the air. Boy, that spot hit needed to be made by Kershey. And now Tegan Levi tries to get down a short side. She's got just as much pace as her sister. Tackle, release. You will say. Having to defend once more. Oh, the step and straight up the middle. So good under pressure. Is this Australian side? And Alicia Lefau, Fakul Salia, the power runner. But Australia march on 17 points to seven. They beat the USA. It is a rivalry that has played out around the world. A classic matchup. And now in a Rugby World Cup sevens final for the first time in more than a decade, Australia has been the dominant force. They have won everything in front of them this season and there is one more prize within their grasp. But between them and World Cup glory is a black wall of the two-time defending champions, New Zealand. Underway in the Rugby World Cup 7s 2022 final. It is Australia who have first possession. Set. Certainly got a lot of tools in the toolbox. Poldy Lane in and out it goes for Kelly Brazier. Brazier across for Flula. Flula drifting across looking for Blyde and just the miscommunication. The tussle for the ball is Australia's great hustle from Lefal Fakul Salia, but Blyde did well to get back and win the turnover. Brazier for the line. Brazier the try. Heads up play from the experienced Brazier. Fantastic to see Brazier, the most experienced player in the team here. Poldy Lane is just going to send that 10 metres. Wow, that is spectacular in the air from Soraya Pucky. Absolutely brilliant. Williams and Hidani, two great rivals and great friends. And it's Shani Williams barreling through the New Zealand defence. Chase is coming. Woodman gets her on the 22. Huge charge from Williams. New Zealand scrambling back as Australia piles forward. Lefau Fakusalia, she is so strong to stand in the tackle and offload to Kaslik. Still there for Australia. Numbers for Levi. Levi for the corner. And Australia hits straight back. And that is the way the Aussies do it. They get the ball out. Look at the 
has taken the air. It was absolutely brilliant from Pake. Straight out missed tackle from the captain, Hidani. And it was Williams, the oldest on the paddock for Australia, and then beautiful ball out there to Levi. We've seen her do that so many times in the last... Poldy Lane scoots away to the blind side where she has Brazier short cut back this side. Oh, Woodman's fumbled that straight through the hands. Mistake, big mistake from Woodman. A little bit nervy, perhaps, from the New Zealanders. The foul Fakusili, she's so strong again. So tough in the middle there, Kaslik. It's difficult ball for Australia, but good ball for Williams. Williams, Brazier and Hidany, those are the names you've said time and again on the sevens field. Oh, Kaslik for Levi, caught out the New Zealand defence. Levi scores once more. She loves those five pointers, doesn't she? Levi, the perfect finisher. And just stuck down here for the last couple of minutes, New Zealand. Oh, Poldy Lane has sprinted through that gap, punching Kaslik coming back at her. Australian jerseys everywhere. Oh, Poldy Lane goes again. Still going, Reese Poldy Lane now needs the support. It's there, and Brazier and Woodman. No. Nope. Here goes Poldy Lane once more for. Brazier, Brazier is going to take them on herself. Flula on the switch, Black Flula for the line. Nip and tuck, nip and tuck, and now it's Stacey Flula for New Zealand. And that, for everybody watching, was the. So Australia, noses in front at half time in the final. They lead New Zealand 12 points to 10. Australia 12, New Zealand 10. Second half of a Rugby World Cup Sevens 2022 final to decide our champions. Australia make New Zealand pay and extend this advantage. Ashby holds the pass. Power runners, Lefau Fakusalia, it takes all, don't say two to bring it down, slips the ball for Nathan. And Australia do make New Zealand pay. Nathan, one of the most prolific try scorers since she's been playing for Australia. Ashby. Really dangerous in this area. Early ball for Levi. Hidany coming across. Levi's going to have the pace on Hidany. Too easy for Maddie Levi around the corner. And it's another hat trick for Madison Levi against New Zealand. Well, Hidany just gave too much space to the speedster. Needed to cut down straight away and get up in her face. She backed herself to take up. Caught with eight on there, I think, for a moment. Someone was wise to it, cleverly done. Oh, oh big collision. Referee has taken out Kelly Brazier. Poldy Lane for Blyde. Just been no space for the likes of Blyde and Woodman for New Zealand. And so it's Kaka who tries to go up the middle. And Saeeli with some fancy footwork as well. Elena Saeeli looking for the support runners. Can't get them. Slides to the knees. Not held. Pops the ball for Kaka. Running up on the shoulder. Levi Chase. Kaka goes in. Reese Poldy Lane adds two more. The gap closes, but just under two minutes to play. Set. Last play. Now or never for New Zealand. They need seven points. Kaka. Kaka gets the arms free for Blyde, changes back into field, back a direction. Willison, it's a fumble, not backwards. They've got to go 45 metres, New Zealand. If they to win and retain the World Cup, or Australia looking to create another slice of history. Blyde, they've given her no room. Hedini loses the footing. Brazier, who's got one big moment in them for New Zealand, or look at that. Goal, that connection between that Aussie defence, Detoy not missing on Hidany. New Zealand have gone backwards. And Brazier headlong into Pucky. It's relentless defence from Australia. No way through for Kaka from there. Saeeli made the bust earlier. What she got this time, tracked across field by not one, but two. A pair of Levi's after her. And Australia might have won this ball back. Oh, another penalty for New Zealand. Tap and go for Willison. Now Hedony looking to go up the middle. Crowd roaring these teams on. Another one. It's energy sapping, gut busting, but there's a World Cup on the line. Michaela Blyde 
up over the 22. No one say thank you. Herini and Kaka. Kaka looks to straighten up, pops the ball for Saeli. Alena Saeli to score the try. And now a conversion to come. Oh my goodness. Oh, how about that? The girls in flat talk about mental toughness. Woo! Tanika Willison to tie it and send it into extra time.